So I got third at my last UDS qualifier. You already know. I got to activate Soul Charge for four. I got to Gumblar my opponent's entire hand for all six cards. I got to activate Brilliant Fusion. I got to summon Fairy Tale Snow. All for the last time. This is my story. What's up, you guys? All right, you guys, you asked for it, and here it is. This is the last time I will be profiling this exact build of Thunder Dragons, but it did bring me uh, success once again. I got third place in my UDS qualifier. It was amazing. Uh, another very, very intense tournament, lots of Sky Strikers, a lot of crazy decks, and I was very fortunate to make it to the top cut. Ended up getting myself uh, 40 more points, 10 for entering, third for, uh, three, 30 for uh, top aiding, and making it to the top four, and then eventually getting third place. Very happy with the deck, going to miss the deck, and I'm just going to run through it. Not really going to explain anything, but I will be giving you guys uh, the changes that I would make to this build. I don't know if this is the exact build that I want to go with for YCS Chicago, but by the time this video is up, I will be in Chicago, so you guys will get to see firsthand uh, what I came up with for that event. But uh, yeah, uh, UDS was great, got all my points I needed, and I was very happy for the practice to play really good players and to, you know, just learn more about the deck. It is going to be missed. Uh, forewarning, this deck is in shambles, meaning that uh, there's a lot of different sleeves and stuff. It's because I'm working on decks for Chicago. Uh, yeah, that's why. So I'm sorry if there's different sleeves and whatnot. It's just because I, I've been working on so many different things with this deck and other decks that I had to move cards around. So hopefully you guys understand, but... For the Thunder Dragons, we played, of course, the three Dark, the three Hawk, uh, the three Matrix, and the two Roar. I'll let you guys know right now that this uh, deck is pretty much, is exactly, I think, card for card, the exact same uh, main deck I played uh, when I won my last UDS qualifier, like two days before, so uh, hasn't changed at all. Uh, dangers, uh, I was fortunate enough to actually finish my danger my danger lineup that I needed, so I ended up getting the third Nessie, I had the three Jackalope, and the two Snakes, I was good to go, didn't have to play Dogman, so it was good. Uh, dangers are insane, I think you still need to play Dangers going forward. We still played the Levianir and the Diabolos package to search with Melody, these cards were absolutely insane. Uh, the hand loop was nuts, being able to, even at worst, rip them for like two cards with like Diabolos and Levianir because of their effects. Then being able to Gumblar once is still four cards, uh, it's pretty nuts. So and these cards are great against Altergeist and Striker because uh, these don't target. And I'll tell you right now, this card is like the MVP. I think this is one of the best cards in the deck. Uh, they have such a hard time outing it because you can't target it. So uh, Diabolos, definitely one of the MVPs. Uh, like the starter cards, three solar cards still nuts. Um, going forward, like of course, when I talk about the changes to the deck, we will be playing Lone well Wolf. So I don't know if Solar will still be played, but uh, it's still a really good card. Uh, before you know the list was announced. Now, if you guys are wondering, this ban list was announced right before I was about to play, and I'm here all set thinking, oh man, this deck is the juice. You know, no one is playing it. You know, it's great. No one knows how to play against it at, at this UDS qualifier, and. You know, I'm just like, oh, it's awesome, and then the ban list dropped. My deck got destroyed, but, you know, it is what it is, so. Uh, I still played the little Chaos Dragons. These cards are nuts. They're still insane. They're amazing starters. Uh, they just get you all your link plays, and they're just free, because uh, every time they go to grave, they just search. I played the one Armageddon Knight. This was, like, my fourth copy of Solar, and I did not send Snow with this. <laughs> I know. I, I'm so dumb when I do deck profiles. I, like, get ahead of myself. I'm like, no. I usually would summon this to send Roar. It was, like I said, just another copy of uh, Solar. Oh, another really good thing with this is that you can send Diabolos. Uh, that came up, like, twice because um, I didn't draw Melody, but being able to send Diabolos and then guarantee a Colossus plus a Diabolos is insane. So this card was definitely an MVP even at one. And then I played Fairy Tale So. Oh. That's right, my baby's gone. Fairy Tale Snow is gone. Sad life, this card was one of the MVPs. You will be missed. Moving on, I played one Eclipse Wyvern and the one Gar and the one Garnet, Amber. Uh, these were just the targets you sent for Brilliant Fusion, so. Is it for the monsters? The same 34 monsters I played before. And then I played. For the spells, I played three copies of Brilliant Fusion. I seem to be missing two. Oh, that's right! Yeah! <laughs> I can only use one now! So, 
Yeah, that's what happened. I think you guys are starting to see where we're going with this. I'm actually showing you guys how many cards got hit and how we're going to change them. So yeah, I can only play one Brilliant Fusion. Will I play Brilliant Fusion going forward? Not right now. I don't think it's correct. I don't want to play the Predaplan engine. Having to commit the Scorpio as the normal summon is really not that great, especially because it's more vulnerable to hand traps. So, yeah, but for this event, I got to play three copies of Brilliant Fusion. Now there's only one. I also got to play three Gold Sark, uh, but you guys are seeing yet again we have another issue. We lost two Gold Sarks, and now there's only one. Uh, this card will still be played at one. This card is still insane. Uh, you have Lone Wolf to replace these, so uh, still just an amazing one of uh, in the deck going forward, but for this event, they were nuts. And then uh, three Melody of the Awakening Dragon. This card was insane. Being able to search Levineer and Diabolos is ridiculous. Those cards are nuts. You can also search Chaos Emperor Dragon. Uh, in my head, I want Chaos Emperor Dragon to be good, like I really do, but the problem is it's limitation on what you can do, like it can be the only card you use is nuts, but its effect is insane, so in my head there might be a build that plays going forward, uh, I would love to have the prize card, but of course that card is extremely pricey, but you know, it is what it is, um, I feel like this card is still insane though, so definitely a, a card I would probably keep in going forward. And then I sacked everyone with Soul Charge, which is gone too. Uh, all the banned cards that got hit, you guys, I took them out of my deck. So you're going to see a bunch of just like tokens and stuff taking their place. So yeah, just so you guys know, would have been Soul Charge. I Soul Charge for four. That card was broken. That card needed to go. And then the last two spells were one Thunder Dragon Fusion and one Foolish. These cards were nuts. I feel these cards will both be stable going forward. I think Foolish has so much versatility. Uh, like I said with Armageddon Knight sending Diabolos, I would Foolish Diabolos a lot too because, I mean, that card is that card's insane. Like, <laughs> And also being able to Foolish Roar and then have the little uh, uh, Wyva Buster Dragon is insane because it becomes like a four, it becomes like three to four monsters on the field. So it was nuts. So that was the main deck, you guys. It was 46 cards. And from that, from this... Beautiful deck that I'm going to miss. I lost Soul Charge, two copies of Gold Sark, two copies of Brilliant Fusion, and my baby Fairy Tale Snow. Of course, the cards are not here. They have been put away. But we have room for one, two, three, four, five, six cards going forward. When I get through the rest of the deck, I'll show you guys the changes. But that's it for the main deck, 46 cards. I know, crazy number. I never thought I'd see myself playing 46 cards, but... I mean, it was the juice, so, yeah. Uh, extra deck, three Colossus, one Titan. I, I didn't, I couldn't bring myself to play 60, so in case you guys are wondering. Um, I just wasn't comfortable playing uh, uh, the Mare Mare Distrudo package. It cost 4,000 life points. It was just not worth it to me, and I, I decided to just not do it. So I maxed out on the Colossus and just one Titan because it doesn't come up that much, but when it does, it's good. The one Seraph Knight, again, it's in another sleeve because this card is probably not going to get used right now. It's just not good with only one Brilliant Fusion, sadly. I missed that card. Uh, Links, we put one Link Kribo. Uh, the card's important for uh, Matrix. Like, you can use it. That's how you would Gumblar is being able to have a Matrix on field and then sack out for uh, Link Kribo to summon this to a Link Zone and then, you know, Gumblar again. Uh, Space Insulator, one of the MVPs, very underrated card. Uh, this card helps make Curious extremely easy. I've talked about it before, but these two cards make um, Summon Sword because they're both uh, Cybers. They're also both Dark, so just really, really solid. Uh, just another way to get to uh, Summon Sorcerers because that card didn't get hit. One Reaper Ducus, I made this almost every game because if I was making Summon Sword, I was making this. Uh, nightmares. I just played the utility ones of Phoenix and Unicorn. Self-explanatory. These cards are good. Phoenix, uh, Unicorn broken in the mirror. Uh, the one card they didn't ban, so I actually get to still use it. Summon Sorceress. They feel that without Needle Fiber, this card's still okay. And I mean, you guys saw my video. I talked about it. I mean, as long as I'm gonna let this card be around, I'm gonna play it. This card's broken. Uh, Curious, probably one of the MVPs of the deck. Use this card a lot. Uh, it's just. It did everything for the deck. Sending Snow was ridiculous. Uh, it wasn't good against uh, Striker, though. Snow kind of sucked against Striker, but it let me send cards like Diabolos, which is broken against Striker. It let me send uh, Eclipse Wyvern to get the combos going for that. So, card is nuts and probably still play it in some form going forward because we played Griffin. And we played Griffin because uh, the Griffin lock, I think, is broken. And I think it was just really underrated at uh you know at this uds and i mean i used it in top cut in uh top eight i used it uh, i beat my opponent in game one i uh, just hand looped them and then game two i literally just griffin locked them with imperial order and it was broken so it was nuts and one borrow load because you need it for the mirror match this card's broke insane like you need it or else you just lose 
And then the one Gumblar I lost. Like I said, the one time I play Gumblar, <laughs> it gets it gets axed. So I got to Gumblar for six, Gumblar for four, Gumblar for two, and never to be repeated. But yeah, uh, this will definitely just be like another Titan or something going forward, or possibly a Topologic Bomber Dragon. Bomber Dragon is actually pretty solid because it's uh, easier to make with Curious. Like you can link away Curious in one monster and make it. So it's an option too. That's it for the extra deck. And then just my side deck really quick. Now, the format is changing. So I had these cards specifically for Rongo because they were Rongo decks, and that's a really hard matchup. These were for Rongo. I don't know if I'd play them going forward because Rongo doesn't exist anymore. But um, Lancia is really good against the mirror match, just being able to Lancia. I actually lost uh, in Swiss. I lost to a Lancia. I took one loss in uh, Swiss. I lost to Sky the Sky Striker guy who ended up beating in Top Cut, but it... Um, it was, uh, this card just destroyed me because I couldn't do anything. So this card, this card's nuts. I, I might still play it going forward against, um, against, uh, Thunder Dragons. And then for back row decks, I just played the Prank Tops and the Red Reboots. I didn't play Twister. Uh, I wanted cards that, like, were just good all around and I needed an out to, to you know, to floodgates that didn't cost me that many cards and this was like the best answer being able to just special this get over the floodgate was nuts this card is really good because um i mean it puts a body on board it's just really hard for people to answer and i really like it because it's just a quick effect that can just pop cards and then reboot was because if i was rebooting altergeist or trickstar or anything that plays traps it was also for the wrong go deck to hit the, the trap card i was just trying to kill him that turn so that's basically how it went so that's why i played this and then since I played Griffin, I played the Griffin package of Order, Eradicator, and Summon Limit. So, you guys already know this was for Strikers, Broken, I used it in Top Cut. Eradicator, I resolved it, it was cool, uh, being able to hit spells is nuts. Uh, also good against Ultra Guys, which there were no Ultra Guys, but again, against Traps, it's nuts. And now you can play three of this card, so we're definitely going to go in some route with that. And then uh, Summon Limit was just for um, the Rongo deck. Alright. Side deck up to interpretation, how we're going to change it depending on the YCS. Extra deck wise, we only lost this one card, so we're probably going to end up playing another copy of Titan. I don't think we're going to play uh, Seraph Knight anymore. To be honest, we might be going back towards more like a general build of, um, of Thunder Dragons. I could definitely see this card coming back into the deck. If we play Instant Fusion, I could see these coming back into the deck. Extra copies of Titan. I mean, I don't know if I'd play three again, but I mean, the option is there. Uh, so there's those options. Uh, other extra deck things that I can really think of off the top of my head. There are, you know, of course, several options you have depending on what route you go. Uh, I'm thinking that maybe I might play Saryuja again. Uh, I might play Bomber Dragon. Like, these are just really good cards that you can make in the deck, so... They might, there might be something there. Uh, possibly, you know, if we still keep playing Dangers, we change the Dangers, we have the option to play Harbinger as like a lockdown card. So there's a lot of options going around with that. I don't think I would play the uh, the, the Destrudo Mare Mare package, but if it ever comes up, if you guys really like that package, make sure that you include both Brio and Yazi because this will come up in the mirror to clear their board and kill them, and Yazi is just how you combo to Mare Mare, so just remember that. So that's pretty much the changes like in the extra deck. A lot of the other stuff I think is self-explanatory. Like I said, side deck is open to interpretation. But I mean, outside of that, uh, the only other things to talk about would be, okay, how would we change the main deck? So I've been going back and forth on what I want to do with the main deck since I lost, you know, a lot of cards, you know, losing, um, you know, losing all these cards. It would be like, okay, if I wanted to keep it at 46, how could I change it? It's like, you know, if two of these are Brilliant Fusions, two of these are uh, what do you call it? Gold Sarks, one is Snow and one is Soul Charge. Okay, well, the way I look at it is that... The closest card that, you know, I'm trying to look for what are the best cards that can possibly replace these cards. Like, what cards here are actually, like, good, you know, I guess, pseudo replacements for what was lost. And, I mean, that's what I've been really working on the last couple of days. Really trying to figure out, okay, what do I play to, um, you know, to kind of, like, improvise. So, the things I thought about is, of course, for Soul Charge, I would play Monster Reborn. So, that takes away one of the problems. For the copies of Brilliant Fusion, I'm going to be honest... I'm probably just going to cut them. Right now, they just don't feel right. They don't feel right with only one Amber. I don't want to play the Predatorian Engine, so that's definitely something I probably cut from the deck. So the deck will lose uh, some steam. Now, these cards, the solution is actually pretty simple. I honestly think I'm. this would be the two Gold Sarks and the... Um, 
I see there was a soul chart. Oh, the snow. I'm probably just going to replace these with Lone Wolf. I'm probably just going to play these as Lone Wolf. And then, let's see. I know I know you guys like these kind of videos where I talk about what I play. I'm probably going to end up cutting these because they're not going to be necessary without Brilliant Fusion. I'm probably still going to want to play all of these cards. Um, I'm not so sure about Armageddon Knight because with Lone Wolf being one of our summons, I don't know if it's going to be a worthwhile summon, but these cards I think are still going to get played because they're nuts. Solar, I'm on the fence again. Same thing as Armageddon Knight. We kind of want Lo Lone Wolf as the summon, but these could be an option too. I think I'm definitely still going to play this package. I think this package is insane. And... Uh, dangers, I think, are mandatory. I feel like if you're not playing dangers, the, you're not, what's the word? You're not letting the deck have its full potential. So I would definitely, um, I would definitely, uh, still include dangers. And then the other option that we have is to just max out on everything. And when I say everything, I'm talking about all the Thunder Dragons. Um, with Lone Wolf, I've seen that a lot of people just max out because you want to have them in the deck, you want to have them in hand, you want to be able to activate everything. So you just max out and even play duo because it's a good follow-up card and can just steal games. So those are the options that we have. But that's it, you guys. This was my last UDS qualifier. There's no more that I'm able to go to, but it's been a great run, and I absolutely love the deck, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching it, you know, just do what it does. Uh, you know, I was able to top three out of the last three out of the four that I played. I won one of them, so I'm happy for that. Got all the points I needed. I did play Dino Thunder. That's another option. Uh, not sure how good that would be right now, but it'll definitely be something I'll bring to you guys if I, uh, you know, find any innovation with it. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for the support. Any questions, leave them down below. Uh, if you want to talk to me about the, de the deck, feel free to hit me up on my socials. Either hit follow me on Twitter. You can get links down below. Hit me up on um, Facebook. Facebook's probably the best way through Messenger. Uh, you guys have all my links down below. If you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up and I'll I'll definitely give you guys the best answers I can. I hope that this little kind of like update will give you guys the best options available for the deck though. And hopefully uh, we can bring Thunder Dragons into the light for the new format. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching.